whole new identity really. It's really revamped. I always say the earthquakes actually gave us permission to do things that we've often thought about but never got round to doing. It was the actual first earthquake that affected most people in Kaiapoi. It's buggered. <laughs> Yeah, I fell down in here and I was up to here in liquefaction. Through sort of misfortune and a little bit of bad management, the insurance was sort of out of laps. There's a lot of depression, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of tiredness and exhausted people. So I was appointed the recovery manager uh, for Waimakariri District Council uh, just prior to the earthquakes. How long and, prior? Uh, three weeks. <laughs> Jim had a saying and it was that we won't be measured by the kilometres of roads and pipes that we replace, but by how our people come through this. We told them everything honestly and upfront. Uh, from day one. But there was a lot of trust between council and community and it was that whole sense of, yeah, we are all, all in this together. It was a one-stop shop. People yeah. could come and we would find them the right answer. Yeah. We were accessible, we were available, we were there, in their town, going through what they were going through. It was about providing confidence to the community, to the other businesses and developers. As you see, we're coming up to our 150th anniversary. We didn't want to drop the ball on our watch. You're the owner? Yes. This is your place? Yes. And the building sat empty for a little while, and then we took it on. This is Sovereign Palms. This is Adam Street Sovereign Palms. Sovereign first, Palms. The, 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 the place of, birthplace of our first spec home. This is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Um, and the coolest thing about it is that it was really all kind of um, you know, donated time. The pub room is made out of containers, um, all the bar area, the whole lot. You'd be pretty happy? Yes, it's good. Why not go out there and think big? OK, we're going to build an aqua sports park. <laughs> How's that? A man-made wave, a, uh, a white water course, and a cable wakeboarding course. I can't totally blame Christchurch, but let's say there are a lot of agencies and a lot of voices being um, heard in the city and they weren't as. This is a proactive uh, council that are looking to really drive the recovery of Kaipoi. It just keeps bouncing back better and better. Now we're really trying to make Kaipoi River a focal point, making use of the, the fabulous vista that Kaipoi presents. Um, and now attracting business which actually wants to make use of it. Do you reckon when you're an adult you'll live here? Mm, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's either here, Rangiora or Christchurch.